Good morning guys, Charlie has woken up nice and early today so I'm up and I'm just preparing his breakfast. Today he's going to be having some banana pancakes which is a very simple recipe. This recipe includes one banana, one egg, some chia seeds, a couple tablespoons of flour and that is literally it. I accidentally deleted the final footage showing what he had for breakfast but it was just around five of those banana pancakes as well as a slice of nectarine. Oh. <laughs> Are you finished? Wow, good boy. Um, you ate everything. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. As you would have seen from the title, I do want to share a video showing what Charlie and I eat in a day. I haven't done a video like this for quite a while and today is a day where it's just Charlie and I. Jamie, my partner, is working all day so I thought this would be the perfect day to film this video. I like to do it when it is just Charlie and I because I just feel like it's more realistic. Like let's be honest, when Jamie's home, I have so much more time on my hands. I get way more creative in the kitchen. Jamie's a really good cook so he will cook a lot of the times and he's really really good but when it's just Charlie and I like honestly we're just trying to get through the day and like eat so sometimes our meals can be a little bit boring so this is gonna be a very realistic what we eat in a day video as you would have seen Charlie's had his breakfast he had banana pancakes and a slice of nectarine not too much but he actually ate all of it which was very impressive he is now down for his first nap so I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys some of the essentials that we get for our fridge we went food shopping like two days ago but we only went fresh produce shopping so just fruits and vegetables so anyway let me share with you guys some of the items that I always have in my fridge please don't judge me by the way my fridge looks it's a current mess it's not the cleanest but so some of our essentials that we always get is bananas we love bananas we use them so much we also always like to have apples we do a lot of fresh juices so we really like apples and that's carrots back there and then we always have avocados this is our last one which i'm probably about to finish right now sorry charlie i'm gonna eat that so bananas, avocados, apples and carrots and then one thing that we're loving at the moment is corn. We always get corn. This is such an easy, really quick feed for Charlie. If I don't get fresh corn, I always have a backup packet of frozen corn in the freezer. I then always like to get like a little treat. These are blackberries. I get one treat a week. It's usually like blackberries or strawberries or blueberries or something like that. This week we got some blackberries. We did get a couple of nectarines, which obviously he had for this morning. So that's kind of like the essentials that I always have in my fridge. And in the pantry, I don't really have like any essential foods that I get on a regular basis. But one thing that I do always have is some dried currants or raisins. Dried raisins at the moment is one of his favorite snacks. It's really simple, really inexpensive, and um, just lasts you for ages. Like if you get one of those big bags, so I always have those in my pantry and like freezer items. We do have a freezer in the garage which has most of our items. Oh, it's making a funny noise, but like bread. We always put our bread in the freezer. This just lasts so much longer and if he wants a sandwich, you just take a slice out and it will defrost on its own. Frozen spinach for smoothies. And I think we have frozen bananas downstairs as well as uh, frozen corn like I mentioned. But yeah, that's just kind of like a mini tour of my fridge. Usually if I have all of those items in there, I know that if anything goes wrong, I can create a meal for him really simple. So. Those are just the things that I like to have every week. So I'm actually just about to make myself some breakfast because as you would have seen, only Charlie ate his breakfast this morning. He wakes up at 6.30 around there, sometimes at 6, so a little bit earlier. And he eats straight away, like 7 he's eating. And I'm just not hungry at that time. So I do make his breakfast, hang out with him, and then once he goes for a nap at 9.30, I make my breakfast. Big light. As you guys can see, Charlie's awake and we're just gonna make some lunch. You gonna help me? I've obviously just had breakfast, brunch. 
so I'm not very hungry. So we're just gonna make some food for you. What do you want? Mm -hmm. You want yum yum? Mm -hmm. Okay, easy. Let's make yum yum. Big yum yum or small yum yum? Mm -hmm. Lots of yum yum. Okay. We get your plate. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Mama saved you some avocado, so we're gonna make mini. Why is this only half a bread? What's going on here? Did you eat the bread? Did you go in the freezer and eat the bread? Mm. Yes, we're gonna make little mini avocado tomato toast. Just gonna toast these. And what would you like on the side? Should we put the rest of that nectarine in here? Are you just coming? This is the nectarine that he had for breakfast, so I'm just gonna put the rest in there. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> I like to remove the skin of the fruits, but there's no reason why. Are you gonna eat all of those? What about the rest of your yum yums? Mm. Do you wanna wait until I put the tomatoes on there? Should I crack some pepper? Just a little bit of and a little bit of salt. <laughs> Just gonna chop up a little bit of tomato. Funny enough, he isn't the biggest fan of tomatoes, but I like to reintroduce foods often just so that he can maybe change his taste buds and start liking it. So we'll see if he like picks them out or not. Be interesting to see actually. I'm also just going to give him a little bit of hummus as well as a couple pieces of a capsicum. This hummus is just store-bought. It is the Lisa's original hummus with garlic and lemon. Hey, why are you not eating your avocados? Is it because there's tomato on there? Mmm, mm, we like the hummus, see? Okay, just to show you guys what he's eaten so far. So I ended up putting Vegemite on these toasts, which is why they look a little bit strange. I don't know why, but he didn't want just the avocado ones today. So I've just put Vegemite and now he's eating them. Um, he's licked some of the hummus, but I don't think he's going to eat that. I'll just leave it in there anyway, just in case he decides to eat it. And he's mostly finished that fruit, so not too bad. Slide down. Oh my god, it's your face. Oh. Little man's woken up from his second nap a little bit sensitive and he also just fell. You want to show everyone your boo boo? Yeah. Okay, come, you stay here. You see that? We got a cut on our knee, didn't we? But we're such a brave boy, we're so strong. We're not crying anymore. Uh, no. We're gonna have dinner now. We're gonna make a dinner. While Charlie was napping, I quickly cut up some uh, kumara sweet potato and just put that in the oven. So that's just roasting. I did quite a bunch. So for dinner, I'm gonna be giving him some sweet potato, acorn, and maybe some fruit. And for Jamie and I, I'm gonna be making some pizza, which will have sweet potatoes on top. Jamie will be home at around 8 p.m. So he'll have dinner with me, and Charlie will have dinner by himself. Charlie, you know what this is? Corn, mice. We have to turn this to donkey off, because otherwise the YouTube police will mark my video as not good because they'll have songs that I didn't pay for. Uh, okay, that's why we have to turn donkey off. Uh, Alright, so we're going to cut this in half. Ready? Fire! Oh my goodness! Whew. That was quite tough. So this is a Charlie's dinner, so simple, it's just a corn, there is some mandarins and some blackberries here and this is a white potato and a purple sweet potato, just cut up into little chunks. Simple as that, I've got the other half of the sweet corn if he does get hungry again. But yeah, super super quick and simple meal that he'll love. Yum yum yum, yum yum yum, yum 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 yum, yum yum. Mmm, yeah. we can read that after. 
Mmm. That's sweet potato. That's a white sweet potato you're eating. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Okay, guys, so Charlie said he was finished eating, so this is what he ate. All of the blackberries, which was honestly no surprise. He loved blackberries, but I'm surprised he left that much mandarin. He usually really likes mandarin. He ate over half of the sweet potato and maybe like a quarter of the corn which is also very surprising because he loves the corn but it's all right i'll maybe offer it to him a bit later because i think it's still quite early it's like 4 16 so still pretty early i might offer it to him a little bit later you know it's the end of the day when your shirt is covered up in food your house is an absolute mess. Your child is going crazy. I'm hungry because I didn't eat lunch, which is bad. Eat your lunch, guys. And I'm very tired. But we have come to the end of the day. Charlie did end up finishing all of his lunch while playing around. Charlie, what are you doing, silly Billy? Do you want to come say goodbye? I just quickly wanted to point out though the importance of showing days and videos like this where Charlie didn't have any fancy meals. He had really simple, simple meals, didn't you? And it was really quick to make and I didn't spend a lot of time in the kitchen and that's okay. There are some days where he'll have amazing, complex, unique foods and other days he'll eat corn. And that is fine. It's so, so important that if you are a mum, you don't compare your kitchen skills to anyone else as long as you're trying your best and your child is fed. That's all that matters. Did you poo poo? Did you do a poo poo? Did you do a stinky? You did a stinky. Or oh. oh, you're doing a stinky. Any hoo ha. Monkey and I, we're gonna go have a bath, put him to sleep. Jamie will be home in about two hours and that's when I get to eat my pizza. I just wanna thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> Can you blow a kiss? Say bye. Ah. Ah. Good boy. See you guys.